Hi. Uh, happy, happy Tuesday and happy Valentine's Day. Um, although it's a bit of a commercial nonsense, isn't it? But it's very nice to... Uh, uh, my husband's off this week, uh, although I'm going up to uh, Craig Craft this evening, so we're not spending Valentine's Day together, not really, because I'm working, and then I'll be disappearing about half past four, five o'clock. Um, <laughs> I think in the 21 years we've 21 years we've been together, um, yeah, 21 years we've been together. I think we've only spent four Valentine's Days together because of him working away and me working and stuff, so. It's not a big deal, but happy Valentine's Day if you uh, do celebrate it, my darlings. Um, how are you all? Hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, we're going to do um, a little pouch, a little double snap pouch today, um, which is really not my pattern. It's one I found on Pinterest, so I will post a link to it afterwards, okay? Um, hi, Carolyn. Just feeding Ollie, running late today. Oh, no, little man. It's little man's birthday on Thursday, and I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to see him. I'm very upset. <laughs> got to be, got to work instead. I'll be up in doing crate and craft. So, uh, so yeah. But I'm seeing him Saturday. We have got a whole day of fun planned Saturday. I can't believe he's two already. It's crazy. Um, but yeah. Um, hi Heather. Happy Valentine's. Ah, oh, same to you, darling. Absolutely. Um, hi Kate as well. So, a um, couple of things before we get started. Um, we're going to do the challenge post. So lots of you i'm really thrilled lots and lots of you actually did the toot sweet quilt that we did last week and i challenged you all to make one um and you all posted pictures which was just and i loved absolutely loved seeing how different they looked when you used different fabrics um, and used different background fabrics and it created different patterns it's such a really versatile really quick one and so yeah um so yeah well done everybody who did it it's quite I told you it was quick. <laughs> uh, let's just very quickly say hello to people. Hi Claire, hi Jean, hi Ali, hi oh hi Ella, 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 other Jean as well. Both Jeans. <laughs> hello, my darlings. Um, your blocks have arrived. Your group. Yes, I've had some blocks through already. There are some brilliant ones. At what? Well, this they're all brilliant. But uh, yeah, there's some really fun ones there as well, which is really nice. It's um yeah, they've started to trickle through. Yes, Jean, your blocks have arrived, darling. They're beautiful well done some of you have sent more than one um i will make sure that at least one of all of if you've sent more than one i'll make sure that one definitely goes in we might use some of the others um it will depend on space how many people actually do it and whether we need one to fill in and i, I will use extras if we do uh hi louise um you're doing some bavarian crochet while you watch the last round on a blanket oh nice i've got crochet to show you in a second as well hi janet hi lindy hello my darlings so oh, hi ali as well hello so um i put all the people who did the challenge post all your names are all in the all in the bag okay i think it was like 19 of you that had a go at it so um because i'm very impressed that you did it all we're gonna do um, we're gonna do two prizes okay so i've got a jelly roll for the first prize okay so give it a good shake give it a good mix about i'm gonna put my hand in there and pick a winner okay so person who wins the jelly roll is mary burns mary that one's coming to you my darling so that one's for you and then i thought because you all did so so brilliantly we do a little second one um, and so this is the Zinnia mini charm, which is the one that I used um, and that is brand new in. So um, I've got one of those really pretty rainbow um, and we've got it on the bolt as well if you need any of it. So I'm going to do a second one for that. So again, give another shake up. Here we go. And let's see who this one is. This one is, let's go with this one. This is going to Angela Seymour. There we go. So you're getting that one as well, lovely. See, you actually did win the raffle this time. <laughs> it's all right. Angela um, did an order and she put on her thing. My husband thinks I keep winning your raffle. <laughs> you really did this time. You won the, one of the challenge posts. So congratulations, everybody who joined in. I loved seeing them um, and how quickly you put more together. So yeah, well done. I'll do, I'll do another one like that, maybe in a few weeks or something, if anybody wants to. Something that's really quick and have a little go at it, okay? So use your stash up. Right, going over to the overhead, because this is the other thing I want to show you today, which is the new crochet along from Serdar, okay? It's called the Coronation Keepsake Blanket, which I cannot say. Coronation keepsake blanket <laughs> um it's really pretty i was a bit worried it would be a bit 
tacky and that's awful because and, and they're not normally tacky but i was thinking oh a coronation blanket it's going to be like all union jacks and stuff but actually it's beautiful so they've sent me this little poster we've got the packs in stock um it's it is really really lovely it's it's beautiful you can't really see it on here which is a bit annoying they on the website on our, i've put the packs on our website um you can see a picture of it folded out um but it's really actually very very pretty very delicate so you're going to get all of these yarns you get 13 i think it is in total four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen of them and if you buy a pack from us you'll also get one of these really beautiful little keepsake um so a uh, commemorative sewing labels which i've got here actually i can show you so they all come in a, a beautiful bag little hayfield bonus bag and you've got all your, all your beautiful yarns in there and then you've got this really stunning i loved this i thought this was such a nice little touch for them to do this lovely little label which just says coronation crochet along and then the date of the coronation which is the 6th of may 2023 um and the new his new crest charles r the third which i quite liked i thought that was lovely and it's just a really nice little one that you can then just stitch into stitch onto the back of your blanket okay so the packs are 30 pound okay so that's all of your yarns and your label the pattern starts on the 1st of march okay it will be on the surda website and i think on their facebook page as well but i will post a link um each week and it's weekly and you'll be able to do it in time so it's finished by the coronation which i thought was a really lovely idea so if anybody's interested in that um they're on the website now we have got very limited stock of them i think we've only got 14 something like that packs so if you want to have have a go grab it let's just have a quick uh look at um our Oh, you're a granny again, baby Bodie. The recipient was born this morning. Is that your new grandson, Carolyn, or granddaughter? You don't know yet. Um, I know you're waiting. Is that? Am I thinking that's right? I hope that's right. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just congratulations. Uh, oh, yeah, well done. Yeah, it was lovely, Ali, wasn't it? To see all the variations of fabrics. Really, really nice. So, let's get on with the uh, seven minutes in. Let's <laughs> let's get on with this. Uh, hi, Anne. Hello, darling right so what we're going to make today is one of these lovely little pouches okay so i'm using that new uh furry friends fabric from moda uh not moda macawa which i really really liked and you've got it's like a little coin purse but i'm gonna actually change it slightly so you've got a little pocket in the back there and then you've got another little one on the front here okay and then these just fold down and clip in like that now I did this one not thinking in a directional fabric, which does mean my dogs are stood on my head. So the sample I'm going to do today is, no, not yours. Oh, it's your son's best friend, baby. Oh, sorry, Carolyn. But um, yeah, well, congratulations on your best friend's baby. <laughs> um, son's best friend's baby. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to use a non-directional because of how it folds. You mean you have to put up with these being upside down. So these are the right way around or vice versa. But I absolutely love these little dog fabrics. Because that looks like my my sister's scout. And that looks like my mum's little Percy. Because she's got a little West Highland. And then, well, I think you've met, you'll have seen on the one o'clock's scout. We used to have him quite a lot before my sister moved um, back to Cheltenham. So, yeah, um, I just thought they were really cute. What, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to adapt this pattern slightly. And we're going to put a little um, strap in there with a, what's the word, um, a swivel clasp so that you could hang it onto a bag handbag or your jeans pocket because i think actually you could get if you were dog walking you could get um what's the word some poo bags in the back and then because they're nice and secure some treats or something in the front and if you were dog walking you could just hang it off your belt or, or anything but they're also i think brilliant little coin purses really really nice as a little coin purse um or any little crafting bits keeping bits safe and sound you know, if you if you want to do like a little first aid kit up to keep in your handbag, you know, some plasters, paracetamol, you know, antiseptic wipes or whatever, you'd get all that in there. And it's a nice little size. OK, so that's what we're going to have a go at today. Like I said, I will post because it's not my pattern. This one It's something I found on Pinterest. I will post the details um, onto our, our page later on. 
So, I've lost a piece of paper now. Where's my piece? Oh, hang on. I know where it is. Stay there. It's just over here. <laughs> I checking it this morning. So, there we go. So, it is a, like a video tutorial. It's not a written tutorial. But you can download this little, it's from Sewing Times, this little um, template. And what you're going to do to start off with is trace put some interfacing on top of there, trace out and cut out. So you want one of each side and then you want another one of just that bottom piece, okay? And then you're gonna cut out some fabric. So I'm actually, like I said, I'm gonna add a strap in so I've cut an extra little bit. You need five and three quarter by three and three quarter in your lining and your outer fabric. And then you want well she said six six and one eighth I don't do one eighth so I cut six and a quarter by five and three quarters for my my outer fabric and I want three the same size in my lining okay so we're gonna start nice and simply we're gonna fuse this one this little piece here of interfacing right in the center of that like that okay so that's my outer piece with the interfacing on so i'm just going to fuse that on so how are you love you for oh yeah this is gorgeous this so this is a grunge that i'm using again i raided my scrap bucket and this is part of the chickadee range uh which is really really cute um but i love the dog fabric as well i think i might actually do it so that the paw prints were on the front and then do it so that the upside down the animals were here the dogs were here and here and it wouldn't matter if they were upside down in there then it wouldn't bother me as much if i because you wouldn't really look inside would you so i might play around with the directional bit to to redo that so there we go got that on there hi lynn how are you lovely hi carol oh don't worry about being late darling that's absolutely fine so i've just fused that oh no i didn't why didn't that fuse irons on let me turn it right up let's try again oh there we go it's going now there we go hold that down a bit better it's because i was just ironing instead of pressing hold wasn't it you've got to do that with interface and press and hold there we go cool so that's now fused onto there and i'm going to put that right sides together with my lining piece which is the same size and you'll see that these are curved but don't worry too much about that 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 will work itself out and what we're going to do is we so all the seam allowances on this pattern are three eighths of an inch which for me is actually edge of foot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stitch down here okay basically edge of foot all the way down so over to the machine we go you don't have to mess around with quarter inches or anything like that. It's three eighths of an inch, which I happen to know is my 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 um from my needle to my edge of foot on mine. And then I'm just gonna stitch all the way down like that. Cut that one off. There we go. Back over here. So nice and simple so far. We're gonna fold this out. So I'm going to fold it towards the outer fabric like that. There we go, like that. And then back over again, line all that. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Nearly missed a step. Before we do that, just going to cook. So basically keeping that three eighths of an inch kind of idea, I'm just going to curve round this corner like that. Kind of keeping the same seam allowance of your fabric to your away from your interfacing. I'm doing it like this means you're cutting both together so it'll match. Now I can fold it over I like that. Fold that down. There we go. Like that. Give it a good press. Make sure it's all lined up. I'm gonna press it on the iron as well. And I'm just going to top stitch right the way across here. Okay, so about eighth of an inch down. Just give that a quick t uh, um, thing. Uh, Late to join, what have you missed? Jill, what have you missed? So we did the challenge post. 
Um, I've I've shown everybody the new crochet along, which might be uh, uh, up your street, lovely, uh, which is really lovely. It's on our website, or you can pop into the shop um, and have a little look at it. Um, and now we're doing a, a little snap pouch, which actually would be really good for keeping. Um, if you use interchangeable needles for knitting, um, you could keep the cables one side and your needles the other side because they're only short, they're only about that long and interchangeable, so it'd be perfect for that as well. So I've just top stitched down there, okay? Back over we go. There we go. Right. Now what, what I want to do is take one of my lining pieces. Now you want to make sure that the, your five and three quarter is top and bottom and your, your six is this way, okay? And we're going to fuse on, hang on, I've got to remember which way around it is. I want to fuse on that one, the one that goes up to the top right, like that. So I'm going to fuse that one onto the back. Is that right? Have I done that wrong? Hang on, two seconds. Nope, it's that one. It's that one, so that when it goes that way... No, no, I was right. That's, hang on, two seconds. No, I was right. I was right with the first one. That one there, top right. <laughs> I have to think about that then. Okay, like that. Fuse this on again. So, one of the lining pieces, make sure it's the five and three quarter along the top. Which it is. Just double checking so you've got the length. Okay. And then, just fuse that one on. So these are quite quick. I think these would be really good little charity makes or if you're making to sell, they'd be really good for that. There we go, fuse that one on like that. Got it. So what you want to do then is go right sides together with another piece of your lining, okay? With your interfacing on the top like that, okay? We're going to measure up now three inches. Is it three inches? Sorry, it's just I'm just checking my notes. Yeah, it's three inches. Was it three inches? Yes, three inches. Like, like that. So, not three inches from, sorry, my brain just had to work and I couldn't read my own notes. So I'm not going from the bottom of the fabric, I'm going from the bottom of the interfacing and I'm going to measure up three inches. I'm going to make a little mark here and here, like that. Okay, so I've just made a little mark there and there. You're going to cut in, in fact, let me just pin that together a second so that it doesn't move. You're going to cut in to the interfacing like that okay just give yourself a little bit of basically we're not going to be stitching down here so you want to cut in there and there just to the interfacing like that we're now going to stitch around here and we're going to start here and using the interfacing as our guide we're going to stitch along the interfacing all the way up and round and finish it that cut so you're not going past these cuts, you're not stitching down here, okay? There we go. So what's everybody been up to, apart from busy with doing that challenge post? Anybody done anything exciting? Anybody been up to anything? Anybody got anything to tell me? Did anybody get anything extravagant for Valentine's Day or do you not bother with Valentine's Day? So I'm going quite slowly around these curves because I want to really you know, get close as I can to that interfacing get a nice smooth line round and then when I get to the straight bit and go a bit faster and then again we'll go just round a bit there here we go all the way down so. nobody there nobody talking to me today do you even do Valentine's Day does anybody get sent cards and presents my mum used to always do it for us when we were kids. <laughs> She'd always send us cards on Valentine's Day as kids. When you get to the other cut, the other side, we're just gonna back stitch, okay? Like that. Okay, so back over we go. So all I've done is just stitch round the top, making sure I don't stitch into those, those cut bits, all the way round like that, okay? 
Next thing you want to do now is, I want my pinking shears, because it's so much quicker, is I'm going to trim off all the excess following that curve. And again, just with a, a sort of seam allowance. It doesn't have to be a big seam allowance. If you haven't got pinking shears, just cut off the excess, give yourself, you know, eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch of seam allowance, and then clip into the, all those curves. But the joy of pink and shears does it all for you. Okay, like that. Here we go. Okay. And then what I want to do is do exactly the same, but I've done it to the cut to make sure that that's right first. And then I'm going to go round the bottom. Uh, your husband's cooking steak tonight. Ah, oh, lovely. Uh, Claire, it's a single turn. You don't do Valentine's Day. Fair enough, my darling. Have uh, you did manage to finish the quilt on your flannel quilt and your spine tonight? Ah, oh, lovely. Well, frankly, Valentine's Day should be for singletons too. You know, spoil yourself. Treat yourself. Why not? I mean, it is a bit of nonsense, isn't it? But, you know, why not? It's an excuse to... Excuse guess. I got pretty flowers. Um, your husband's cooking tonight. Jack, Carol, lovely. Jean got flowers. A card will be going... Getting a food carry out tonight, lovely. Don't blame me, saves having to cook, doesn't it, darling? I will be spending uh, Valentine's Day travelling for four hours in the car. Yay! <laughs> there we go. So, trimmed all the way round. Now we're going to turn this through. So, obviously just that top bit sewn. So it's only going to be that bit that turns through. But get that really nice and neat. Like that. Everybody with me so far? Janet, you've given up waiting for the postman these days. Oh, bless you. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I made a comment the, uh, a few weeks back about we were watching some film and they had the, the woman had um, flowers delivered to work. And I was like, oh, I always think that's really sweet. That's really romantic. So uh, I got this morning and there wasn't, there wasn't a card or anything. I thought, yes, we better not have forgotten. Not that we really care. We really don't do anything. But I did give him a card in present. And... Uh, but he'd had flowers delivered to work because he, I, I'd said it was romantic. So I thought that was very sweet that he brought them into work for me. <laughs> so there we go. Round like that. We're now going to top stitch. Again, ignore this bit here. We're going to start here and just top stitch that sewn bit up there. Okay. I'm going to press it first and then top stitch. Ow! I'm not going to press my fingers though, which I just did. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that's all nice and neat like that. And then we're going to top stitch just that sewn bit so again about an eighth of an inch like that am i going to do that now yes no i'm not no i'm not there no what i want to do i've missed a bit hang on oh. no what i'm going to do is we're going to go back to this bit here that we did a moment ago we're going to put that on and then we're going to stitch all the way around so we're going to line that up like that okay don't worry that this is, well, I'm gonna have it this side so I can see. You're gonna use this as your line. This will be bigger, but we're gonna chop it off afterwards, okay? So don't worry about that. I'm just gonna line that all up. Where those little bits poke out there need to be at the top, like that, okay? Have it this way up, and then we're gonna stitch about, I mean, you're gonna go really, an eighth of an inch, so you don't see it later on. Oh, camera, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> here we go, back over here. So, what I was saying, this piece here, flip that over so you've got line into line in, okay? We're gonna line up these little bits here that are sticking out with the top, like that, there. Don't worry, it doesn't match, this gets cut off, okay? Just pin that in a second. There, and there. And then we're going to stitch from this edge here, okay, so about an eighth of an inch all the way around and end here, okay? No, I'm not. I'm going to start here. I'm going to go all the way around. I'm then going to do my top stitch up and round there like that. So you're doing it all in one, basically, so that you're not top stitching and then having to do it. I found it easy to do it all in one, okay? So basically, sew that onto that now. Over we go. So I'm going to start here so I can see where I need to start, which is just, just there. Okay, lock it off. And then I'm doing an eighth of an inch all the way around. Go slow around those curves like that. 
strange we go. I suppose I could have waited to do the pinking on this bit and done it all together, but it's fine. Here we go, right, here we go. This is basically just to top stitch this bit and hold these two pieces in place. We're going to be putting another line of stitching in in a moment. So now we're top stitching around this and this will be seen, so go nice and steady on this bit. It's a sad state of affairs when I can't read my own notes, isn't it? Lynn, you started a bit, ordered a, started a baby quilt, but you don't like the way it's coming together. Not sure what to do instead. Might have to make some bibs. Oh, that's a shame, lovely. Is it just the pattern you don't like, or is it the fabrics you've chosen? Uh, you bought Valentine's last week in Liverpool, and the lady served me was the designer of the cards you were buying. Oh, how lovely is that? Oh, that's fabulous. Eileen, you've ordered the Sirdar pack. Ah, oh, lovely. Lynn, you've done Valentine's card in Toblerone, his favourite, but he didn't. <gasps> oh, he's in trouble then. <laughs> hmm. I bought um, Phil some um, homemade, handmade, sorry, um, marshmallows from this um, amazing company called The Marshmallowist. They were lush. Um, and Whisper Golds, because he's obsessed with them. He loves a Whisper Gold. So, um, right, so now I'm just going to trim off that round just follow that round like that okay just get rid of all that excess and we're basically clipping into those curves like that here we go get rid of all that nonsense and now you've got something that looks like that so there's but that's basically your front pocket with the first flap which is going to come down like that okay so now we need to do now i really do need to because this was a make sure i put it in the right order place on top of the other that's it so again make sure this is the right way round. this then goes on top of your other lining piece like that so you've got your lining piece face up and this goes on top face up as well so you can see the flap what we're going to do is you just want to just fold the flap down basically just fold squish it in and chuck a pin in there to hold it out of the way so it doesn't get caught when you sew on okay now if you don't ignore i'm going to do this next step but if you don't want to put a little wrist strap on and you just want to do it like this ignore this step okay so little strip of fabric which was two and a half by four and a half in in half in half again and we're just going to top stitch that quickly uh perhaps he'll go out later and get something oh i should hope so lovely does he know he's in trouble that he's forgot and didn't get you anything? A bunch of flowers at least, a bunch of tulips in the supermarket at least. <laughs> there we go, just top stitch down to enclose that up. And then back over here, I'm just going to give that a quick press. Now I want this one to be on a little swivel clasp. So I've got one of these nice little sw sw snap hooks, okay? Um, you could just put it on a D ring or something like that if you want to, or um, like a key ring. You could put, oh, a key ring would work as well, wouldn't it? Um, I've gone with one of these, which is one of those little snap clasps. So you're going to put that through like that first, okay? Decide which side you want it on, and I want it to sit. Let me just unpin that. So if this is going to be the top of the bag, I want it to sit just under here, like that, about half an inch down, like that okay put all this out of the way and pin it oh pin, i'm going to pin that together and then it's all pinned out of the way like that okay all looks a bit crazy at the moment a bit of a mess but it works i promise <laughs> like that now i should have one last piece of interfacing and one last piece of have i done oh don't tell me i've put that on the wrong way Oh, I think I've done it. I have. I've done it the wrong way. Oh, fooey. Hang on. I've put that on the wrong side. That should be up the other side. Can you see? Oh, see, I'm really not with it today. Right. Two seconds. I need to whip that off. I need to whip that off. So when you <laughs> when you lie this on top of this, that should be the other way round. Ah, annoying. Right. 
Hang on, guys. I made two of them yesterday as well. I was like, yeah, I've got it. I've got it in my head. Made my notes. I still got it wrong. <laughs> you know, I said it being in the top right. I've put it on the top left, haven't I? It's because I've got a thousand things going on in my brain at the moment. There we go. Right. Whip that off. Like that. There we go. Flip that round. Top right. This needs to be top right, okay? <laughs> Um, and then that goes on like that. I'm not going to restitch it. I'm gonna I'm gonna completely blag this now. That's gonna go on to your lining piece. This is face up. This goes on like that. All right, that's correct. I'm gonna put my little thing back in uh, that side like that. Oh, hang on, no, because yeah, no, that's right, that's right, because it'll flip out. Got myself all confused now. There we go. And then we're just going to fold that. I was thinking, why is that hitting that when I was playing around with it yesterday? I'll just put that like that. So it looks like, like I said, a hell of a mess at the moment. But what you're going to do now is you're going to fuse the final piece of interface into your outer. Leg like that. Um, oh, hang on. Let's get that on there. What's that, Lynn? Uh, you've been married 50 years in October. Oh, my goodness. That's that's a hell of an achievement, my dear. Uh, so, it's yeah, Valentine. As I said, it's all a bit commercial, a bit rubbish, really, isn't it? But at the same point, why not? It's only a card. We don't go all out for mega stuff. <laughs> Excuse to get a prezi. <laughs> right. What you want to do now is just mark a little turning gap. So I'm going to... Just put a couple little marks there. This is then going to be sandwiched. Just making sure. So outer on top. Place on top of the lining piece, pin flap out of the way. Outer goes on top right sides together like that. So you just got, this is kind of the sort of tricky bit. Line it all up. Make sure that it's all in. That's in like that. Yes, that's all in. Okay. Add this on. Pin this together. Now you've got quite a lot of random bulk. Okay, so be careful. But I'm making this way harder than it actually was. It came together really easily when I was doing it yesterday. There we go. There and there. Okay. Again, I'm going to do like we did before and stitch right close to the interface in all the way around okay but i'm going to leave a gap here and here all right so that i can turn the whole thing through all the way so i'm going to start here all the way down and round to there okay um uh where are we there we go um patent and fat quarter bundle you've used it all it's not appealing to me all your points are okay it just doesn't feel right oh yeah sometimes you get that isn't it sometimes you think oh, um it's just not your cup of tea, hun. Not working quite right. You should send a picture and we'll put it on a gig list and say, what can I do, ladies, and see who comes up with some interesting ideas. Cheryl, you don't do Valentine's, but you treat ourselves in a week away, uh, week away in February, just the two of us. Nice. It's needed sometimes, isn't it? That's, you know, Phil and I did um, went away in January, just the two of us, and uh, it's needed. Sometimes it's nice just to get away, isn't it? Remind yourself why you like them. <laughs> There we go, all the way down. So it's you can hear it's a bit chunky going through, but just go steady all the way around here like that. Round we go, all the way around this corner. Slow that down around that corner. Okay, so now this is quite chunky, this bit. So you've got to go steady, okay? You can hear the machine, can't you? It's like, ooh, do, 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 do. but that's because I've added that handle in that little hanging hook, which I don't actually know if it's going to work. It was only a thought yesterday. I was just like, oh, I'm going to give it a go. Right now, before I um, cut it, I'm just going to check that I've caught the fabric. 
corner haven't just there I've gone a little bit skew with so I'm just gonna I didn't think it sounded quite right so I'm just gonna redo that one there we go you know when you can hear your machine you think oh that's not right <laughs> just oh, before I undo it all just make sure everything else was in it was just that little corner I had been caught so back over to here pins out and we're nearly done it's literally it's we're going to pull it all through now so pink it back to the pink and shears <laughs> I never do anything per perfectly Han. honestly I absolutely wing it more times than you know <laughs> Art of her uh, gift of the gab is what uh, I've got. Right, so where this and this is, where the gap is, I'm not going to cut it really close. I want a little bit more. I found it was neater to have a little bit more there. So I've cut it close around the corners. But I'm actually going to leave a much bigger bit to turn under. It made it a lot neater when I was turning under and top stitching. Here we go, all the way down here and round that bottom corner. And I've made this look so much harder than it actually is. There we go, done. Right, now we've got to birth the whole thing through that gap. So be careful because you've got pins inside, but you've got to turn it all through that gap. So we've got to give it a bit of a shove. Come on. Come on. Oh, nearly there just getting that first bit through went out see told you there's a pin there <laughs> first bit through and once you've got that first is the other pin let's have that one out <laughs> it goes there we go and suddenly it's through so get your finger in there turn all those corners through oh I got and then finger up into that one as well that corner there there we go right big wiggle before this is a Sarah Jane trick this is if you kind of give the seams a wiggle it seems to <coughs> sorry all this fluff is making me uh, I'm gonna feel it tickly okay now what I want to do now is just turn that under like that both sides hopefully in line with that straight edge I'm going to bring the ironing board over and give that a good press. So, I'm going to turn that under there, like that, and do the lining bit. Is that in line? That looks pretty much in line there. Give that a press, and then turn that fabric under. It's not quite right there. Come on, tuck under your right bag. There we go, that's better. And give that a press as well, like that. Got random thread there, but that's fine. That'll we'll trim that off in a second. There we go. Press all this bit. Give it a good press before I do anything else. And then you can either ladder stitch that closed before you top stitch, but there's no need to, because I'm going to top stitch just this top edge now. Um, you, you, know, you can if you want to. Some people find that easier. So I'm going to start just here and go all the way around and that will close that edge up. All right. So yeah, so starting here, right close to the edge, all the way down and finishing and you just want to finish there. Okay. And it's nearly done. I'll have to watch again, but it looks as if you could do with unused fat cords. Absolutely. You could do this with fat eights. It's tiny, the amount you actually need really really small pieces in fact you i reckon you could get two outers out of a fat eighth and all of your linings out of one fat eighth of one you know i will post the link to the pattern for you on off pinterest um i'll put it on i'll put it into gigglers okay so i'll put it onto the gigglers page so you can download the little template like i said it's not my this one's not mine all i've done extra is just add in that little um, hanging one because I want to be able to hang it off my bag, you know, on the inside of my bag because I could keep my key 
you know, my house key and stuff in there or my cards, coin purse. But I think it'd also be, like I said, really good for like a little mini your medication on the go. You could just use it as a mini first aid. Um, there we go. Or brilliant, I think, for dog poop bags. You could fold a couple in the back and then have treats in the in the front. Okay, so there we go. Here we go. Oh, back over here. Um, that's why it was just a Toblerone card. I treat myself to some fabric and tell him it's my Valentine's present. Oh, brilliant. That sounds like a plan, missus. Trim off any of your ends or anything like that. Like that. Now, and then that one is going to fold up. I'll tidy up the ends later. Okay, that one then folds down like that. So you've got that double, little double flap. Okay, like that and like that. Oh, I've caught that one a little bit. I wasn't sewing correctly, but you've got the pouch at the front and then a pouch at the back. You could put poppers on. You could absolutely put poppers on. I'm going to put cam snaps on because I can't be bothered to sew on any more poppers. So now I get to choose what colour. What colour do we think? Do we go with that hot pink colour? No, that's not quite right, is it? It's like a corally orange colour. What do we like against this? What do we like? What would you go with, ladies? Could just go with a mint green, but I think actually, because these are circles, having a contrast colour might be nice. Um, red. Oh, that orangey red works quite nicely, doesn't it? Oh, orangey red or coral. I'm going to go with the coral, actually. I like the coral ones. So one, I'll just put one on for now, and I'll show you how to do it. So I want a female one and a male one. Your uh, pink and shoes are horrible. Have you used the pinking blades and rotary cutter? I have used a pinking blade and rotary cutter. I found them quite difficult. I found it quite difficult because it's it's not as smooth as a rotary cutter. Not difficult, but annoying. Um, oh, Janet, you like the blue, do you? What, this one? Should we go with the blue against it? That blue? That blue. You think that one's nicer? Actually, I think you might be right, you know. Yeah. Do you know what? Let's go. I'm going to go with the paler blue. You're right. I like that. I don't think I pulled that one out originally. I think I pulled darker blue out and it's not quite what I wanted. There we go. So we want two of the pokey bits. One female bit and one... No, that's a female bit. Where's the male bit? Come on. Can't find any. Oh! There's one there. Okay, so you can see you've got like the two different parts. Um, okay, we're going to go with the pokey tool and cam snap. So I'm going to start with this one. You want it sort of in the centre of that sort of curvy bit there, so about there. So if I push through it, push the pokey tool through like that and wait for it to hit the underneath fabric. Grab a little marker, because I don't want to make a hole all the way through. I can just make a little tiny mark there where that's hitting. And if I do that, hopefully you can see it. I've just made a little mark where that's hitting so that I know where to put the second one, okay? So through like that. Spiky bit goes on first. Ooh. so through like that because it's going to pop her like that so I need that through and then going to put one of those on like that now I don't know how much this makes a difference but in the instructions it tells me to clip off with a pair of scissors just the top of the spiky bit so that's what I do and they seem to work pop that into your cam snap and squeeze okay like that then where I've made that little hole there, so put your hand inside the pocket so you're not going all the way through. Not the hole, little mark, like that. Make a hole. And then this time, oh, come on, where's my poke? There we go. Spiky bit. It's going to go through from the back to the front. Where is it? There it is, like that. And then because I've put a female that side, I want the male part that side. Oh, get on there. There we go. Sit that into the little cup 
and squeeze. There we go, like that. And then that now is in the right place. Ooh. There we go, it clips up. You just repeat that on that side, okay? Put it through here. So you're gonna put it through there like that, mark it and do one on the other side. And that's your little pouch done, okay? And I just think by adding that little strap in, even if it was um, like a security thing, if you had a hook inside your handbag, you could just hook that in and it would mean that you could keep your, you know, your cards and some change in the front or you know, your house key or something. You could put um, a key ring onto here as well and then put your house key and all on it and it would all be safe inside your bag as well. Um, play around with your fabrics. You can see, look, I did, oh, I did blue on that one. Haha, <laughs> I did the same blue on that one because I like to pick up the blue of the bits on there. It was right, I'd buy that blue one. You know, so that one I haven't put a hook on to, but you know, it is what it is. Right, I've been rabbiting for far too long, my darlings. Okay, so that is a little double snap pouch. If I hadn't gone wrong, it would have taken a lot less time. <laughs> uh, but I've got to go because I've got still got packing up to do and all sorts and stuff to do in the shop. Um, so I won't, there's no one o'clock tomorrow because I've got craft extra from one o'clock till three o'clock, which you can watch on free sat, some of the channels, but the easiest way to watch it is on YouTube. So you can watch on your phone or your tablet or your TV if you've got YouTube and just put craft extra. It's only live though, hun. Okay, so you have to do it live. Uh, thank you, darlings. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it is a nice little project. I think they're really cute. Really, really sweet. Um, what else would I say? And then Sarah will be back on, I've got Crate and Craft then at 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. on Thursday. And then Sarah will be back here for one o'clock and she's going to do block of the week so i know that's normally on wednesday but she's going to do it on thursday so um so yeah i will i will see you next week next week we're off to newton abbott is anybody coming um so i'm not sure i think i'm not sure what days we'll have one o'clock okay um we'll definitely have one tuesday um but i think we're traveling wednesday and then um the first day of the show or is it wednesday i can't remember now is it a Thursday? It's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday show. So we'll do lives from the show, but we'll do a one o'clock on Tuesday. Okay, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Have a lush Valentine's Day. Hope you've all um, been spoiled, even if you're spoiling yourselves. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.